Hello everyone, my name is Val and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'd like to tell you about yet another super popular ESL game called Tic Tac Toe. How do we play this game and where does it come from? I'm going to tell you all about it today. So, where does it come from? Games played on three in a row boards can be traced back to ancient Egypt, where such game boards have been found on roofing tiles dating from around 1300 BC. An early variation of tic-tac-toe was played in the Roman Empire around the 1st century BC. It was called Ternilapili, three pebbles at a time, and instead of having any number of pieces, each player had only three, thus they had to move them around to empty spaces to keep playing. The game's great markings have been found chalked all over Rome. This information is taken from Wikipedia. How do we play it? First of all, there is no universally agreed rule as to who plays first. So I always ask my students to play rock, paper, scissors to decide who goes first. When we have the winner, we start playing. Now, tic-tac-toe is played on a 3x3 three three grid by two players who place the marks X and 0 in one of the nine spaces in the grid. In the following example, the one you are watching right now, the first player, X, wins the game in seven steps. It's a very simple game, but how can we adapt it to an English language classroom. There are many scenarios here. So for example, you can use flashcards. I have a very big grid here, uh, three by three grid, and I have flashcards here. So for example, the simplest way to play it, for example, if you're teaching kindergarten students or grade one students, all they need to do is to say or name the animal here. That's all. If you want to make it a little bit more difficult, you can ask them that if they want to claim a square, they would need to write down what this animal is. So for example, um, if let's say they want to say a bird, they would need to come and write down the word here, right? And um, if they do it correctly, you can remove the flashcards and then this team claims the square. So this is one way of doing it. Or again, if you want to increase the level, ask them to describe this animal. Yeah. And you see these animals are different, so it's easy to uh, pick a square. So for example, they can say, uh, this is a parrot. Um, it is a bird, it's very colorful, and it sometimes likes to talk. Also, if you like, you can remove all these flashcards and just write down the words. Any words you want, it all depends on your target language. And then to claim a square, your students need to use these words in a sentence. Let me show you. So here is one more way how you can play tic-tac-toe in your classes. So instead of using the flashcards, you can write down the words in the squares and the students would need to use them in a sentence, right? So again, you can uh, ask them to either describe this animal without saying what it is, and um, uh, their teammates would need to guess, or you can just ask them to make a few sentences. So for example, if, if it's just a few, if you want them just to produce a few sentences, you can also write down the structures here, like for example, three sentences, and they would say like this is, Okay, let me 
<laughs> Let me show it to you. So this is a, this is tr uh, sentence structure number one. It is, then for example, here they would need to say um, color. Okay, and it likes to, and here they would need to use a verb. Yeah, so for example, I would say, okay, three sentence structures. So here's what I would say. Uh, this is a dolphin. It is um, gray. It likes to swim in the water. That's already good enough. They can say three sentences together. That's perfect. And then what you do, you, here we go. You claim the square. And then the turn goes to the next team. Or to make it again um, more maybe challenging, don't uh, ask the don't don't ask the student to use these structures. Use a different approach. Ask them to describe this animal, and his teammates would need to guess what it is. So, for example. Um, this animal lives at home. It has four legs and a long tail. It likes to purr. It loves drinking milk. It's a very soft and nice animal. It's also fluffy. What is it? So they would say it's a cat and they would claim the square. Okay, so uh, I don't feel like it's very organized, but uh, I'm just sharing, you know, ideas with you guys. So um, I hope it helps you. I hope you're gonna use it in your classes, or maybe you can also tell me how you use tic-tac-toe um, in your classrooms. Let me know in the comment sections below, you know, because many people read, and maybe uh, our comments or suggestions would be useful, useful to them as well. And also, if you have any questions about this game or any other game, please let me know in the comment section below. Well, thank you very much. If you like what I do, please leave a like, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon to turn the notifications on so you never miss a single upload. Your feedback means a lot to me. I love you and I hope you all have a great day. Thank you very much. Hugs, hugs everyone. <laughs>